hi family welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you i'm trying to do my camera okay i'm going to show you the dish i am preparing i'm just making some cow peas leaves let me show you the the dry ones african dish i will show you these ones That's what I'm going to cook with you today. I'm just going to show you. It's already boiling as you can see on the cooker. I soaked it in boiling water for about half an hour. And then I put it in the, on the stove now to cook until it's all soft. You can either choose I will show you you can either choose to make this with peanut butter or you can use cooking oil I'm going to do the two dishes for you show you how you do it so like for now it's been boiling it's been boiling in water just water I haven't added anything as you can see it's all cooked like you can see now i'm going to drain the water take the vegetables out of there put them in a bowl drain the water i'll show you the next stage i'm going to do now i'm going to fry as you can see, I'm going to fry the onions. I'm just making making it more and more traditional, like how you would make it in Africa. I was just going through, I thought, oh, well, I haven't put something on YouTube for some time since I've been sick, but... I thought I would show you how to do this. They're actually nice. I like them. The cow peas. Oh, they call it Munyemba. The push or Munyemba in the Zimbabwean language, Shona. I don't know how they call it in the world. Put in some chopped tomatoes. Now I add, um, you see this Royco mix, the sari mix, I like this in the vegetables, I put a bit of that, that's the only spice I put, it's a complete spice, that I use, I think when you're in Zimbabwe I would use that, and the vegetables, all soaked and boiled. They're actually nice and soft as you can see. Hmm. Now I add them to the sauce that I've boiled. As you can see. And then we add them. Now And you leave it to doesn't need a lot of things just your dry vegetables wasabi royco mix is optional salt cooking oil and onions and tomatoes that's all you need for this and as you can see it's all cooked and it's very nice your dry cow peas
all nicely done. Take them off the stove. Here is the finished product. The vegetables are cooked very nice, tasty, and easy. I'll do another video that I'm going to do, and then I'll show you how to eat this. But it's very good eating with sadza, ugali, any fufu you would want to eat it with, it can go. That's the vegetable soup like others would call it. And I hope you enjoy this video. Try it. It's the best African dishes, African food. Thank you for watching my channel. And please subscribe, like, and share with your families and join the family. I'll see you in my next vlog. Bye.